reawaken to your immortal identity. And discover life between life's wisdom. Presented by the Michael Newton Institute. Hello, Indrani. How are you today? Hi, Rebecca. How are you? I'm really excited as always. You know, that's my standard mm -hmm. phrase because today we're actually diving into something really special, at least for me, because I've had some great experiences that I would love to share. But our topic today is actually life on other planets, extraterrestrial learnings. And I'm sure you've had some exciting topics or uh, cases as well. It, it is really fascinating, the kind of uh, experience people have had, the kind of experiences we've heard people share. And I think the most uh, beautiful ones, Rebecca, are the ones where it's involuntarily come through in a session. So it's oh. not like they've had doubts or anything, but in the course of the session, when they've accessed information about an experience in another dimension, uh, which we, you know, uh, from an earthly understanding, we call extraterrestrial. But what's so interesting is, if I look at it from the perspective of the other being, of that other life form, we are also extraterrestrials to them. <laughs> You're so right. And you truly experience that when you do a Life Between Life session. I mean, really separating yourself from um, the lower dimensions and just being with Source again, you can really experience that whatever we experience on other planets, whatever it is kind of extraterrestrial somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a, I, I think that kind of helps us relax into the topic, at least for me, because I know there's some people who really find the topic kind of um, out there or kind of uncomfortable to talk about. And like I mentioned to you, um, Indrani, is that I had a client uh, and that client um, felt really out of place when she came to me. She never found her place in in the world, in this on this planet, and she found herself just wondering, you know, where to go in life, how to travel, um, not finding her grounding, just always kind of wanting to explore and everything and everything outside, like she was looking for something that she could not find within her life and whatever was around her. And what happened during that session, um, she explained to me that she found herself choosing this life on earth to explore the way of being an outsider, not fitting in, not looking or looking at other people and finding that when she would look at other humans, she wouldn't resonate. It wouldn't resonate with her. She would still feel completely different. And growing up and experiencing this, she started to explore changing her appearance to fit more into what she remembered as herself, as her core. And she did a lot of stuff with her physical appearance to help her feel more at home on this planet. And I wanted to share this because I know for from, you know, this this is uh, a few years ago, actually. And knowing her now, I could see how she's embraced that part of her. And she's actually now living as an example of being or feeling not at home, but has accepted her journey to earth acceptance that what she got from the session was that I chose this to be different, to not feel at home, but to still connect with home and have that deep connection and to really just explore a life on mother earth. So this was one of her first uh, lives on this planet. And so that I, I found it fascinating because that's the first time I've ever had a session where somebody 
chose Mother Earth because they've had many lifetimes on other planets, mainly, and then wanting to explore how to be out of their comfort zone. So she actually said, I'm now comfortable living in my uncomfortable life here on Earth that I chose to actually feel and be part of something brand new. And I thought that was fascinating. So, Rebecca, I'm so glad you shared this because uh, when we when we think of it from a soul's perspective, so they've been through so many experiences. This soul chose many, many experiences in other dimensions, in other uh, planets, and then decided, okay, I'm going to come down and have an earth experience. So, Rebecca, for that soul, it chose an experience on earth because it wanted to experience the lessons they will probably pick up in this incarnation. And I, I think you will agree a lot of our clients who have voluntarily or involuntarily regressed and has got an understanding of the fact why as a soul they have come in on earth to have this experience or the fact that they've had other lifetimes on other planets which we are calling extraterrestrial. But what is very beautiful, I think, is the fact that they chose this lifetime, this incarnation, and the way, and I have seen it in some of my sessions with some of these clients, the way they've woven the learnings together to make this existence so much more significant. And when they share, and I and I say this, that so many times, conducting those sessions and facilitating them I have found them exceptionally humbling mm -hmm. because they have given us profound learnings those clients have shared what the differences are how can we incorporate those very simple but very profound lessons into our existence on earth today and make our earth existence that much more layered that much more beautiful we are able to contribute more, I think, because we then see from a more universal, inclusive perspective. Bringing hope. That's what I'm getting. Bringing yes. hope to this yes. planet and yes. for our existence on this planet. And that makes me, Sorry. Yeah, I, I makes me think about another session I had where, and that's kind of uh, interesting because this was uh, a couple of years in between. But I had one end up on a planet in a, mm -hmm. another galaxy and mentioning that galaxy. And a couple of years later, another uh, client comes in and experiences and mentions the same galaxy. I had never heard that name before. And they both talk about uh, coming from that galaxy or that planet to Mother Earth in this period of time to use what they've learned on that planet on how to live in tune with nature, with uh, the earth, with all the energies and how that unity or that unification can be adopted into or implanted through their teachings onto Mother Earth. So they today work with, you know, very interesting in the environmental issues and humans. I, I could see that they had one of them were very in, into humanity and how to help people open their hearts and, you know, to connect with oneness and understand that concept. And the other one was very into the nature and how to protect the elements or the water and all that. And it all, if I actually take it back to their session, it all comes back to the, that experience on that planet, which again, to me, brings hope. There's so many people here. So I'm going to add a little layer here that here is a soul that has come in for an earth experience and then is choosing to do a LBL session to share with their own conscious ego, earthly human mind, as well as the mind of the therapist who they've chosen to do the session with to bring that message of that universe, that multiverse, that galaxy, that planet, that dimension for us here. And there are so many souls who are 
choosing earth experience so that they can share learnings and lessons of their universe their planet their galaxy their wherever it is just so that we can prosper we can gain we can enhance the quality of earth experience and you know we've heard terms like uh, rainbow children right mm -hmm. yeah so why is there this belief who are these souls you know so if you ask me the term extraterrestrial or the or the fact that that's life on other planet or life on other universe other um, dimensions we have to see it or we have to at least try to see it that it's just where i sit and what i look at so when they those beings are in their space looking at us to them we are extraterrestrial <laughs> we are other life forms we are outside there and it i think in all these sessions what again and again comes up this hope that you're talking about vivek it comes from the spirit of inclusion we are not outside each other we are all part of this huge dynamic wholesome togetherness which is beyond our earthly capacity to even understand and that's why i keep saying this humble hum uh, hu the sense of humility that you know kind of just surges out of you in these se sessions is because this soul this being trusted you enough to do this session with you so they could download or they could channel information messages lessons with us on earth and you're nothing at that point other than a conduit or a channel because you are receiving it and today what are you and i doing we are choosing to transmit it we're carrying it forward so that anyone who's listening to us anyone who's uh, absorbing what we're sharing they they stop having any judgment towards this mm -hmm. or this sense of me but you or this the sense of being separate we are not separate but understanding that this is very enmeshed and this soul is choosing to share it with you has chosen to come to your planet live the life that you are living here go through those experiences and a lot of times they tell you the way advanced there the, if i may share Uh, from one of the sessions uh, with with this very very beautiful experience so the planet it had first had an incarnation in, uh, let's say the the birth of it mm -hmm. and it goes to the first one that it could share and there they procreate through intention so the understanding of male and female was very beautiful and which is something that we are all trying to understand and embrace here that there is a male and a female in both of us right we have a male and a female in us the masculine and the feminine and this client shared it very beautifully that it's there is no form or shape it's perpetually changing the male and female again is perpetually the the intent or that the vibration at that time and procreation is but just the intent to procreate and it was all about colors and nothing very formed nothing very defined it's all very free flowing and the more the person was describing in the session the more and then when it goes into the council that why did this soul choose to come into a lifetime like an earth one and it was the concept of me choosing something very defined very three dimensional very very structured with a lot of rigidities because i'm coming from a space where everything was free flowing so i'm trying to bring that message into this universe that or this world this planet this life on earth and hopeful to pass on that message to us beautiful Oh, it's so true. It resonates with the core in me actually because mm -hmm. I know how my personal journey on earth has been challenging for the acceptance of the feminine and just knowing that I've also had lives on other planets, so I've discovered that myself. 
and knowing how or seeing or experiencing experiencing that wholeness that I could not, I haven't felt here, or to be honest, I've had it during my sessions, but as soon as you're back into regular life, it's so easy to see and observe how you act out your purpose and what energies that you choose to be drawn to. And I see that always reminding myself of that life on that other planet because I feel that that's, I have so much learnings from that place, especially when it comes to unconditional love, what really is unconditional love and, and truly how to live from that space, live from source and allow the soul to lead the way. I think that's why I always feel drawn to living or doing the work I do and to assist other people just to really connect with that space and to accept the learnings of whatever lifetime, whatever planet, because I know that within that power of all these learnings, that's how we can, that's how magic resides, right? That's, that's how we can change this planet. That's how we can change this world. This is how we can open up. At least that's, that's what brings my heart to bubble with joy, knowing that we have people on earth, souls with these teaching, these learnings, choosing to come here and to use these resources in this time. Now I wanted to go, hello, because I'm really so excited for that because I love this work. Thank you, Dr. Michael Newton, for this incredible tool that Life Between Life really is to help people really connect with that pure essence and to experience yes. these teachings and learnings. Hmm, I love it. So, you know, as you were talking, the very fact that when we facilitate a LBL session, there are those portions where these souls talk to the council, talk to their guides, talk to their family, their soul family, their soul group. And I remember clearly a few particular sessions where there were these marked silence in the session and I'm like asking the client, so are you checking this with your council or are you asking this with your council? And a very, very calm, authoritative voice answers, it's not for you. Mm. Yes, I've experienced and, that actually yeah. myself. <laughs> and when we, when we debrief with the client after the session, and, and I've had three particular cases, I remember this very clearly, where one gave me a very nice answer. He said, what was said and discussed was something I needed to clarify why I came into earth as a man. Ah. And, and his un understanding was that because he's had not too many lives on earth, why this particular lifetime as a male, why he's doing a LBL session, this is where he debriefed and said that what they were explaining to me was this disconnection I used to keep having in my professional space, in my home space, in my relationships, it's because it was alien to me. Mm -hmm. He used this word very clearly, I remember, alien. And the moment he said it, I, it again made me understand that yes, to those beings, we are alien. We are the foreigners. We are the ones they've chosen to visit. In another uh, client's case, what the lady explained was, what they are telling me is for me to be able to apply it in my life on earth now, going forward. And I said, is it something you would want to share with us so that, you know, we all, we all, all gained from it since by then we understood it was an alien experience or an extraterrestrial experience that uh, she understood. And what she said was, what I have chosen to experience on earth as a human being will help me to go back see this is where the understanding of they visiting us then we calling them aliens is to go and tell them of what work is still left 
on earth which is essentially means that earth is requiring more of these souls who are coming with a lot of compassion a lot of love to help us help ourselves mm. so when we when we encounter these sessions in lbl it makes us understand or it helps us to demystify that instead of judging or profiling these beings who we call alien or extraterrestrial we as humans need to change our narrative why because we need to understand they are possibly coming to contribute to us bettering our own existence as human beings in this planet and in gaining our planet gains as well here so in many many cases they are coming to help mother earth yes and these messages that come from their council from their guides when these souls share with us very very powerful profound messages of unconditional love hope inclusivity uh, learning to let go of judgments and rigidities learning to understand that that infinite potential we talk about which is the source we are possibly not tapping into a large part of it most of our lives mm-hmm. and it's a lot like a you know they come in as if they're knocking on the door to say come on wake up yes there's stuff to be done you chose to come into this world because you have something to give you have something to contribute so your life it becomes very mission oriented because the vision is what you gained in that session mm-hmm. so the i see life between lives sessions as an ability to see our vision and connect us to our life's mission so we have mission based existence i agree with you that's i'm yes and i can see that from the perspective of having those clients choosing to come to use their resources in support of humanity and our planet earth at this moment in time it's very very humbling and when you can meet people who choose to open up for their mission and to listen to their soul and if they use lbl or other um, wonderful techniques just to connect and to be true to who they are and their purpose and their mission we see it all the time or at least i do because i choose to live on that vibration of choosing to see all the good and choosing love instead of fear and that's when i can see how people these souls coming from different planets having these resources are now coming together in a greater uh mission yes with the help of universal power and it's just and i feel so blessed in drones really honestly to be able to do this kind of work and to be opening up and helping people to connect with that that's a true blessing I'm getting kind of <laughs> teary eyed yeah. because this means so much to me. This is also something I my heart burns for to help mother earth, to help humanity understand the connection, the interconnection with everything, the universal power, mother earth as a souls on a journey and just to be open to exploring and to learning and to growing together for the expansion of the universe from mother earth for humanity. I'm so grateful to Michael because I think what Mighty Newton's uh, work is all about and when people from different walks of life tell you about his books and how it's touched them and how they found the courage to reach out because a lot of them say that I was awkward in these questions I didn't want to tell people these questions but with Michael's work with the books after reading it and when they connect to us as Michael's uh, therapist i call us so uh, he's the visionary and we're carrying on his work so you know we we're, we're taking forward his legacy so when we do this work um yeah it's it's super humbling i'm i i think we're all just so grateful that we're doing what we're doing and i'm i'm grateful that these special souls who come in on earth 
seek us out to spread the message that they've come to give. I think that's what I would like to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for this wonderful session, Indrani. And to Same those who are watching, hope you enjoyed it. I, I truly did. And I hope it touched your heart. So thank you.